Of course, he was in action for the under 21s and during the international break. Finds Kavna, Brandon Kavna, Kian Kavna, of course, who came off the bench for Derry City last week and got the winner at Anchicore on the bench tonight again. Brandon Kavna continues his run. Michael Duffy just slaps it on the path of Duffy. Duffy, first time with the bottom left hand side makes no mistake you do not give Michael Duffy opportunities like that inside the 18 yard box Van Herbs have paid the penalty it's 1-0 Derry City brilliant brilliant play as well you saw Derry City just keeping it in the right back position two or three passes and there there was the injection of pace from Brandon Kavanagh it was a 1-2 from from, uh, from Hammond Patchy and then you just saw Duffy taking his time taking his time and then just injecting it I actually thought he must he was going to miss it I thought he took too many touches I thought he should have had it first time so Brandon Kavna keeps a wily eye on how this corner will continue again Shane McElhinney gets ahead to it there's a scramble inside the dairy box there and right, eventually Brian Maher does gather under his chest but uh, I think the dairy back four can breathe a sigh of relief after that Gareth absolutely but great boy, ball by uh, Boylan unbelievable I have to say put two or three of those corners in um, right on the money and that's a great po a great great distribution from the keeper again straight out to Brandon so I think this is going to be a drop ball by Sean Grant but it should be firmly in Derry City's possession as uh, they were advancing backwards Mark Conley <laughs> showing no mercy getting things back underway it's a great bit of control from Michael Duffy Duffy on the age of the 18 face down but ball bobbling around inside the Harps 18 it's fallen to Cameron Dummigan. Dummigan lays it back. Ronan Boyce gets a shot away. Only as far as Akintundi. Akintundi trying to stab it into the harp goal. And eventually it ping-pongs out. And it goes out off Regan Donnellan. And that's going to be a corner to Derry City. Harp's living very dangerously, Gareth. Colm, he's got his score. And listen, I know it's under his feet. We'll see it here again. It's brilliant layoff. You've just got... Uh, it, it's, it's a shot don't get me wrong it's not a pass but he's got to get the ball under control he's got to get it out of his feet and he's got to find the corner throw one's taken Brandon Kavner trying to play it back into the path of Ronan Boyce Kavner cleverly finds Diallo who in turn finds McJanet McJanet first time to Michael Duffy Duffy patching. Ryan Rainey hot on his heels. Domingan back to Patching. Patching just waiting for the overlap of Cameron McJanet. McJanet gets his cross on. It's an easy tap on and the end up from Brandon Kavna. Gareth, you mentioned in the first half about how much he needed to get on the score sheet. James Akintundi came for the cross. McKeown bought it and he slipped at the last second and it was an easy tap in for Brandon Kavna. 64 minutes gone, Derry City 2, Van Herbs nil. Right time, Derry needed that as well, and I'm delighted that Brandon Cavan has got his first goal for Derry City. Um, it's a good move down the left-hand side. Patching and Duffy were nice and patient, and then you saw the injection of pace get McJanet down the left-hand side. We see it here, Dummigan straight on the Patching. Patching just waits, waits, good way to pass, and it's a great ball across. It's right in that corridor of uncertainty, and there you have Brandon Cavan. I don't think he'll score an easier goal in his career. Mark Connolly gave it back to Brian Mar and Ryan Connolly done really well because he was putting pressure on him all the time. Jamie McGonigal's now got a chance of a snuff at goal. Oh, and he's brought down inside the 18 yard box. The referee points immediately to the spot. I think it was uh, the number two, Kieran to or Connor Turish. Yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting to see what colour this is. Yeah. I don't know if he was the last man, but it's just a yellow. Mm. I, he was he's lucky. He was definitely the last man. If we see it here in the replay now. He's got away with one there, and I actually think this is outside the box. The contact, the contact's outside the box. He's given a penalty. Confidence must be up in the McGonagall household. The man from Dungiven misses. And they end up, it's a great save from McKeown. Uh, so we'll give credit to the keeper there, big, but uh, I don't know if it was the right decision to give it to Jamie McGonagall. City very comfortable at the moment, just still stroking the ball between themselves and uh, looking for an outlet. That outlet comes through Michael Duffy on this occasion. Gary Boylan just facing him down. Janet combines with Diallo and then Declan Glass just peeled away at the wrong moment. As Rob Jones wins the header. Joe Thompson dummies it. Jamie McGonigal. Oh, what a strike! And what a goal to end the Northwest Derby. Jamie McGonigal from the age of the 18-yard box made absolutely no 
mistake following the mistake from Joe Thompson. It's Derry City 3, Van Herbsnell. That is the icing on the cake from tonight for Derry City. But I have to say, Ollie Horgan's going crazy down the touchline here. He feels that Rob Jones was pushed in the build up to that. We might see it here in the replay. But listen, let's not take it away here from Jamie. You see it there, Shane, as clearly as day. He's got his two hands yeah. on his back and he gives him a nudge. Is it enough for a free kick? I don't know. But watch this now. As I said, he only needs a sniff. He shoots at any chance and he's put it right in the corner. McKeown hasn't even moved. So Harps trying to get something. The 95 minutes have been played. So it's going to give Michael Duffy an opportunity to stretch his legs. He's got Jamie McGonigal for company as well. Jamie McGonigal on the edge of the 18-yard box. Could he make it four? McGonigal with a flashing shot, but it's easy for James McKeown in the end up. And I think that'll be the last bit of play we'll see as uh, Sean Grant does eventually bring proceedings to a close the last Northwest Derby of the 2022 campaign ends with victory for Derry City